You were born a murderer. You were born a thief. You were born a liar. You were born a really bad, 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 bad person. And you were born that way, even though you hadn't done anything yet. But don't worry. This fellow Jesus, a very nice chap, by the way, died a most horrid, horrible death. A death of torture and blood and whipping and nailing and, and stabbing and b bad, bad death. But he did that for you, so you'd be forgiven for the things you were born with sin, badness, and your ugly, icky, yucky, yucky. And you were born that way, but now you're beautiful and kind and beautiful and wonderful because Jesus died for you. But if you don't believe in Jesus, you will suffer an eternity of hell, fire, and badness, and icky nastiness. Because you were born bad. You were born a murderer and sinful and terrible. Because ancestors, at the dawn of time, the, the first people that were made out of dirt ate an apple. So you were born as a bad, nasty, terrible, icky person. You were born that way and you must suffer, except for Jesus died for you, so you don't have to suffer. You don't have to suffer. You have to believe in him, though. If you don't believe in the Jesus, you're going to go to hell. The hellfire is coming for you if you don't believe in the Jesus. I, I hate for something bad to happen to your soul. So you better believe in the Jesus so you'll be safe, okay? And give 10% to the church. Otherwise, that's the same as not believing in Jesus. If you don't give 10% to the church, you don't get the Jesus points. I'm losing my fucking mind. I'm watching too much YouTube and I'm watching too many idiotic people making idiotic arguments. And expressing their love of Jesus. Love Jesus! Here, okay, here's the idea on Jesus. Jesus is God, so they say. So, God can't die, right? So Jesus giving him, be, letting himself be killed, and he, and he knows he's coming back to life because he's God, right? So what, what exactly did he, he did like the human experience of being tortured so that he could forgive you for sins that somebody else did that you were not born with, but you only get credit if you believe in Jesus. And if you don't believe in Jesus, you're going to hell. I, what is the logic here? What is the logic that are you're using here to say that this is a good thing? That, that Jesus died for your sins? That, that, why do you, why were you born with sin? Why? Did, <laughs> you, you, you accept that you were born with sin. That's just, oh, of course I was born with sin. Why would I not have been born with sin? Because Adam and Eve, they sinned, therefore I'm born with sin. That's well, just crazy to think I would be. And, and and if you die as a baby, you go to purgatory. But no, you don't go to purgatory anymore because you get a pass now because you, you're, you're saved because you didn't get to sin. But you were born with sin. But because you didn't have the age of reason, the sin doesn't count. And you don't need the Jesus sacrifice. The point I'm trying to make is religion is cuckoo talk. Religion is telling you these crazy stories Basically, to shame you, to frighten you, into believing the crazy cuckoo stories. They tell you that you're born with sin. Why? So you'll feel bad and you'll want to be saved. And they tell you if you don't believe in God and Jesus, you're going to go to hell. They're frightening you into, if you don't believe our story, you're going to suffer. I believe, I promise, I believe. I mean, I, I don't take pleasure in making fun of Christians. It's not something I want to do. It's just this compulsive, it's kind of like when you eat something really bad and you want to throw up. It's kind of like that. I listen to some of these Christians, not all Christians, most Christians, like 90 
percent of Christians are fine because basically they're not telling this stupid bullshit of I love Jesus. Jesus is wonderful. He died for me. They make me sick to my stomach because it is so bizarre the things they believe. And they don't recognize that they're, they've been told these things for the specific purpose of buying into the religion. The entire Bible is written to convince you to believe the Bible. I mean, the Bible says only a fool wouldn't believe the Bible. What book says that? The book of, you better believe me, because if you don't, I'm going to take you. It's a sales pitch. It is a sales pitch of religion to get you to buy into the religion. That's all it is. That's all religion is. It's a bunch of crazy nonsense that they tell you so that you will believe what they're telling you. Because they keep telling you, you will suffer if you don't believe them, and you'll be a fool not to believe them. Who else tells you be a fool not to take the deal that they're offering? The mafia. And what does the mafia do? They're not good things. They take your money. What does the church do? They take your money. How many people are pressured by the church to give 10%? You're supposed to give tithing. 10% is tithing. Where in the Bible does it say you're supposed to give 10% to the church, by the way? I mean, I recognize that giving to the church makes some people feel better, and they think that money's going to good things. And in some cases, the money they give to the church is going to good things. But most of the fucking time, it is not going to good things. Most of the fucking time, it's going to the church to build new churches. And going to the fucking priest so they, they can buy boots and jets and cars and... Joel Osteen. Have you seen his house? Does he look like a pious man? Does he look like a man of God that he needs that house? I don't think so. I think he's asking for money so he can buy a bigger house. That's what religion does. It convinces people that if they give money to the church, they will be saved. And prosperity churches teach that if you give money to the preacher, God will return that money tenfold. Seed money. God give us seed money. So much of religion is such complete and utter bullshit that people buy into because they have been taught, they've been trained since children to be afraid and to be shameful that they need religion. They need God to wipe away the shame. They need to believe so they won't be punished for not believing. These are crazy things that Christians believe. And not just Christians. All religions basically have some amount of woo talk that they use to sell the woo belief that is religion. And it is aggravating to me to see this. And it's so aggravating to hear people tell me why they love Jesus. It is nauseating. It really is. And I'm Tom, your friendly neighbor at Atheist. And I've said this before. I'm only an atheist because people tell me their God is real. And when I say it isn't real, they say, you can't know that God's not real. Right after they say, I know God's real. I feel it in my heart. These people are not well. I don't want to say that they are brain damaged, but they have suffered traumatic brain injury at the hands of religion. Religion has negatively affected their mental capacity. It's true because they believe things that are wrong and they're afraid not to believe it. I know atheists who are still afraid of hell because growing up, the threat of hell was so severe that even though that they no longer believe that there is a God, they are still in the back of their minds 
afraid that hell might be real. Hell is child abuse. At least telling children this. You know, I, I let my daughter's mother do her Catholic indoctrination stuff on her. I'm hoping it doesn't stick. I'm giving her enough reason not to let it stick. But I told my daughter, if anyone tells you that hell is real, tell me and I will kick their ass. Because hell is not real. Hell is bullshit that they use to sell religion. And original sin is bullshit. It is used to sell you religion. Jesus, I'm not convinced, existed. There might have been somebody named Jesus. I don't know. But the Jesus of the Bible is nonsense. And the idea that someone 2,000 years ago had to be beaten and whipped and tortured and murdered for your sins that you didn't even have yet, that is some sick shit. I mean, it is sick. It is, it is, <laughs> I mean, everyone's waiting for Jesus to come back. You know why Jesus is not having come back? I tell you what, Jesus has come back. He's come back a few times. And each time he comes back, he says, what the fuck? What, what's all these crucifixes with me hanging on there with the blood? And, oh, that's, oh, these, oh, I, I'm, I'm out of here. Forget it. I'll try again later. Maybe they get over this weird death cult stuff. That's what Jesus is saying. I'm certain of it. If he existed, that is. Anyways, I'm Tom, your friendly neighborhood atheist, and I was being rather silly today. Um, hope you found it entertaining. I find it entertaining. I'll, I'll watch this later and, and it'll crack me up because I'm a big goof. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch you next time.